welcome to Biology. Welcome back to Biology. Well, I am starting for 2021 what so many people say they really enjoy, and that is car chit chat. So, guys, my car chit chat will be on every Wednesday. I'm going to try to stick to this schedule because I know the ones that are looking for it will be there on Wednesday to see it. So before I introduce to you what this Chit Chat Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the year is going to be, I want to tell you something. If there is a topic that you would like for me to speak on, what I need for you to go do is go right here to Theology on Instagram, go over to my DM, and send me your question, your topic. If it's a question, I would not give your name, but I would say what the topic is, what the question is, and I will elaborate in my own words. So guys, the topic for today is knowing your worth in 2021. So guys, in 2020, there was very trying times. But now that we have came over to a new year, we need to look at ourselves and know your own worth. Mm -hmm. Your own worth. If you feel that you are a queen and you are worth $10 million, you need to act on that and let others know that, hey, I have a worth. Okay, know your own network. If from 2021 and on back, someone tried you for your smarts, your intelligence, know in 2021 to know your worth and what you are. Don't let no one else talk down about you, belittle you, or just to think that you are just a plain fool. You're not. The person that calls you a fool, nine times out of the 10 is the fool. The person that wanna say, oh, you know what, you crazy. And not in that joking way, but saying that you are crazy because what you're saying does not meet up to what they feel that you should be saying or doing. So therefore, that's no part of your worth. If you are around someone and that person is giving you less than what you are worth, remove yourself from that person. If that person is saying negative and derogatory things about you and to you, remove yourself from you. Your worth is more than that. Just because they look at their self in a next point and don't know what their worth is, and it could be a dollar or it could be one zillion dollars, but it doesn't matter. Know what your worth is. Don't worry about the next man. Worry about you. If you have that certain person as your co-worker and the only thing they want to do is talk bad about you, know your worth and say, you know what, thank you. I appreciate you talking about me. That lets me know that I am worth so much because I am important to you. If someone wants to sit there and run that conversation and try to start something and add other people in it, you're important. You are worth so much because they want to take the time out of their precious day to talk about you. They need to know their worth. But knowing your worth, just say, oh, thank you. I am so glad I was on your mind today that you had to bring me up in a conversation and talk about me. Thank you. That's knowing your work. Another thing, if you are, I'm trying to get a good example. That was one. If you are in a marriage 
and you know what your worth is and your spouse is not giving you what your worth is, mm -hmm. divorce court is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard or whatever time you are at. Know your worth. If you're in that marriage and you want to constantly try to make it seem like you're the bad guy, I'm sorry guys, the sun is like really bright in front of me. If they want to talk down about you and try to play with your head, no. It's called reverse psychology. If you don't know what verse, reverse psychology is, I will put it right here on the screen. Your definition of reverse psychology. The reverse psychology is flip what they are trying to do to you back onto them. Reverse psychology. If they say, well, you know what? You are fat and I don't think what you got on is attractive on you. If you feel like you're the sexy diva in it, flip it. Well, I don't think the shirt you got on fit you right. And I don't think it's for you either. Know your worth. Flip it back to them. They're not going to like it. Guess what? That'll make them shit to the up. Okay? My next example. Clearly, if it's something that you like to do, but the other person want to talk down at you only because it's something they're not interested in, know your worth. Don't break yourself to satisfy somebody else when they are not trying to satisfy you. Know your worth. Pat yourself on the back and say, I know my worth. If you don't want to do what I want to do, you think I'm going to stop to do what you want to do? No. Mm -mm. But that little side girlfriend that you call your ace, if she can't be your backbone and she's only using you for what and who you are, 2021, know your worth. Get rid of her. I don't care if you've been friends for 29 years. I have my best friend and my best friend and I have been best friends since the fourth grade. If she would ever come to me left and wrong, believe me, we would not be friends anymore. I know my worth. Point blank. I know my worth. It can be your family member. And if that family member want to shuck and jive you and only call you and use you when it's only at to their advance, in 2021, know your worth. Because if all of these people around you stressing you, stressing you, and stressing you, the only thing it's going to do, you be six feet under and they're still going to be walking around here. Know your worth. Put them in the back. Turn your back and don't look back. Know your worth. The next one is, if you feel that your worth is not where it needs to be, at that point in time, you need to stop and check yourself. You need to sit down and get a sheet of paper and put on there what are the pros about you. That means what are the good things about you? What are your good qualities? Your hair good? Know that, oh, I have beautiful skin. Somebody else might say, you know what? Oh, you trying to be something that you're not. Exactly. Write down on one on the front side of your sheet of paper, the pros about you. Everything that you feel that is so good about you. The definition, not what somebody else said about you, but what you feel that is positive about yourself. Now, as you do that, what I want you to do, once you finish that list, I want you to flip that sheet of paper over and I want you to put on the top cons, C-O-N. On that, you write down everything that you feel that is a negative about yourself. I don't want you to write anything down that you feel that somebody else has said about you. I want you to write down what you feel that is a con about yourself. Me, I can tell you the pro about me. The good thing about me, I am out to help anyone. That's, that's a pro for me. I will stop 
and go and take care of anything that someone may need. They can talk crap about me, whatever. But I know at the end of the day, God is watching what I do. And he covers me and wakes me up every day and give me breath to breathe. So therefore, I must do in God's will to make sure that I am doing the correct thing. I can't worry about what the negative person, what they may do negative to me. I can't worry about that. The con about me is, they said the same thing. I'm always open and so quick to do things for other people and they can care less about me. So on your pros and cons, you can have the same thing as a pro and a con. Because I just gave you an example on mine. I'm always out to help someone break my back and make sure they're okay. But on the flip side of the same thing, I'm so quick to do that for other people. But if I'm in a need for something, I have no one to be there for me. So mine is a pro and a con. And I guarantee you, if you do this, I guarantee you, you will have on the list several of them that are about yourself that is a pro and a con. Now, what I want you to do after you have sought out your pros and cons, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna sit back and look at your cons. Everything that's on your list that you feel that is a con about you, I want you to write on the side of that what you feel that you can change about that. Now, don't get me under, don't let me reiterate this. I don't want you to put what I feel like I'm ugly. God makes no mistakes. God's made nobody ugly. God made you, you for a reason. He designed everybody different for a reason, okay? So I don't want you to put, well, you know what? I feel like I'm ugly. You are not. God made no mistakes. You are God's, one of God's children. So he makes no mistakes. He designed you unique and different for him. Okay, so on your cons, like on my cons, I can put, I have lupus and I suffer with so much of pain, but on the side of it, what can I do different? Eat better, get an accurate amount of rest that I'm supposed to get, stop being stressed by other people's stress. Those are things that I can put on the side that I said, okay, it's a negative that I put down, but if I do this, this, and this, I can eventually flip that con and move it on the other side of the paper to a pro, okay? So that is what I want you to do as a homework assignment to you. Write down your pros and cons, analyze your cons, write on the side what you can feel like you can do within 2021 to remove those cons and get them on the pro side about you. Not, and I'm telling you, I don't want you to write down anything. Oh, they say that I got a gap in my teeth. Oh, they say my hair is not long enough. Oh, somebody say I got a flat butt. I don't want to hear that, none of that. Don't, don't put none of that on there. It's your attitude, your attitude, okay? The attitude is how far you see yourself. Pro about me, I have lots of higher education. I don't talk about it on YouTube, but I have lots of higher education. That's my pro. Now, let me tell you my con. I want to work on my doctoral so bad. Then want to work on my doctoral for the last four years. Who has not worked on their doctoral? <laughs> Me. It's the pro that I've gotten to this point as far as higher education. It's the pro that I can go ahead and work on my doctoral. But as my con, I'm 46. I, my thing is, here I am. I'm 46 years old. I don't want to go and work on anything else. But what I need to look on my side of my, my con, where I have not started my doctoral, what the biggest thing that I need to write on that line on the side of my con is, I'm still living. I'm still living and willing and able body that I can go and work on my doctoral and get it. See, that is how I want you to set up your papers. 
out of your cons, half of them, what you need to pick your half, the half, well, ha however you list them, go by half of them. The first six months of this year, you need to correct all of those cons, all of those. Next six months, um, 12 months, June, July, June. June, you need to be working on the other half of your cons. By December the 31st, what it is, you shouldn't have any cons left. That's because you have worked on you. Mm. Listen to what I just said. Because you have worked on who? You. So knowing your self-worth. Don't let somebody else tell you what your worth is. Know your own worth. So guys, I am going to end this car chit chat with you. I will be back on next Wednesday mm -hmm. with another one. But remember guys, if you have a topic or a question that you would like for me to help you through or to just to give my little input, what I would like for you to do is send it to me or if you feel free and you open, you're fine with it, drop it in the comments below. Or if you want to be private, I have absolutely no problem with that. Please do go over to my Instagram. It is Viology. Send it to me on IG, on DM, and I would definitely, definitely get to your question. Because there are four weeks out of the month and some months have five. So... We got lots of weeks in this year that I will be answering your questions and going over your topics. We have 52 weeks this week. After this one, we have 51 more weeks. So guys, I am going to get out of there. Please like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up my video. And if you're new here at the Beehive, hello, welcome. I am Vanessa. And if you're an oldie, but definitely, definitely a goodie. Hello! Welcome back, welcome back. And guys, you know I always say at the end, I gotta go, but I will be back. And until the next time, I'm driving along, chit-chatting with you. Bye! You turn on every wall If you let me